Here we are on our way to the Loch Gur Family Fun Day. Loch Gur Limerick. A lovely sunny day. Loch Gur Family Fun Day. Lovely sun sunny afternoon. For the Family Fun Day. Loch Gur. Did you learn anything at school? Nothing. Well, why not? School was closed. It had to be closed every day. Yes, it was. Well, what day did you go to school? Saturday. Oh, no wonder it was closed. Now, Leroy, I'm going to give you a quiz. Can I eat it? Well, a quiz is a question. If you get the question right, you can stay up and watch the next show. If you get the question wrong, you have to go back to the van and read a book. Okay? Okay. Are you ready? Was that the question? No, that wasn't the question. If I add 56 and 47 and 22, what do I get? Uh, let's try him on an easier one. If I had 10 years longer, what would I have? Someone else's Oh my God! Could you say a little louder, sir? Hold yourselves, all right. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if I am going to take off my top, you could help me out a lot here. Put your hands up in the air, clap along with the music. And if you don't know the beat, that's okay. Just check my ass. Oh yeah. Everybody. That's it, Connor. Oh, yeah. And Connor, you too could end up taking off your clothes in public. Some moves that Guido picked up when he was in Las Vegas. <laughs> yes, folks, Guido has the body of a god. The thing is, with him, it's a bit more like Buddha. <laughs> yes, folks, he used to have a six pack. Now he just carries a keg around with him. <laughs> now, ladies and gents, it is at this stage in the show that I do need to tell you that clapping doesn't put Guido off at all when he does this. All right, Connor, here we go. This is your last job. Oh, I'm going to get a long shot. Long shot. <laughs> Longer shot. Yes. <laughs> What's the name of the castle? Bowshers. Bowshers. Oh, you bastards. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he was the landlord, wasn't he? Yeah, exactly. We'll say the castle would, it's been from the Norman times and uh, when the Earls of Desmond would have reigned all of Munster. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that was really good. Mum thinks so. yeah. They used to just catch guys and throw them. You see, if you could see out there, just catch guys and fire them out there and that's how they dispatched with them. Mm. But when, when they were... Hmm? They found one guy, just to, uh, they, when they were excavating down there, they found a big guy who was about seven foot tall. Ooh. His name was Hempenstein. Mm. And he was an English hangman. And he was called the walking gallows. He the walking gallows because he was so tall and he could just go like Ooh. that with the people. Oh, he did, he refused, job. that was yeah. his job. But the Irish got kind of fed up for him anyway, and they reckoned that the guy they found there, down there was him. Right. They, they actually caught him and just physically threw him over oh, there. Wow. That was the end of him because it's quite... Yeah. Yes. You know, there's a jump down there, there's a cave in there called the Red Cellar Cave. Oh. And um, it's called the Red Cellar Cave because during the trouble times the, there was a man and a woman and they were running from the British soldiers. They were hiding from them. We don't know what they, were, they did but they committed some misdemeanor. And the British soldiers were down there at the bottom of the hill and they were hiding in the cave but the oh. lady was knitting <coughs> and her ball of wool rolled out of the cave down the hill. So the soldiers were able to follow the wool up. Oh. They, they killed them in the cave, so the blood, the blood spilled out. So that's why it's called the Red Cellar Cave. Oh. The Red Cellar Cave. It's also one of the entrances to Never Neverland. Tierna No. where the fairies live. Oh. And if you go in, if you go into that cave, they give you swallows meat to eat, and you'll get smaller and smaller and smaller, and you'll turn into a fairy. But there's one thing. There's one thing the fairies hate, and that's smoke. So you take your pipe with you, and you blow smoke in their face, and they let you know, they just disappear. 
Any fairies here? Uh, I'm yeah, full of fairies. Mother of California, <laughs> the hill of Nakini, which is about two Chant miles this way. A giant fairy, and to see would she change him back into a man again. But she was in a bit of a bake with him because she didn't like the way he was using his magic. She oh. made up magic shouldn't be used as to entertain no. people at parties and things like that. So she said, okay, she turned him back into a man, but there was a few conditions attached to it. One of them was that him and all his courtiers would go down to the bottom of the lake and they would live there. And she gave him another concession. Once in every seven years, he's allowed up out of the brow of the lake. And she gave him a silver horse. He gave him a white horse with silver shoes. And when the silver shoes of the horse are worn, he'd come back and he'll restore the lands of the deserts. So at the last time somebody saw him, the shoes were actually very narrow. So we're hoping he does come back because he might do a better job than the crowd that are <laughs> running the ship, running at the <laughs> diamond. Now. So hopefully out there. Are you? It's the, it's the only natural island on the lake, but we have a few crenogs. A crenog is a man-made island. Yeah, we're going to show you one now. Yeah, you? and there's one. We, are, we not, are we walking over by Ashpite now? We can go there, yeah. We can go there. There is, there is a crenog, but at one time the lake was a lot larger than it is now. So it was completely surrounded by water, but we saw it now it's one side is kind of bog. Right. It was drained during the famine. Oh. They drained it. it the outlet is the church over there in Grange. They're not too sure. It's funny that nobody seems to know exactly why they drained it. It's some part of it, either to make more land, to grow more crops, or, or as part of the famine scheme. Like yeah. this famine works.